Before, before we had our first commercial break, I think I promised that we'd give uh, you as well as Ms. McCoy an opportunity to talk about your background and some of the things that in a real sense motivated you to become involved in this mother-to-mother -mother fund, you see, because uh, uh, as we indicated earlier, that there has to be some attitudes that people have toward children in order to do that, and so we'd like to uh, elicit from you that kind of information. Well, thank you. The, when I was at the Women's Union in Boston, I, I did mentoring programs for adults as well as children and activities for all ages and quickly found that really my heart always seemed to lead me back to the children. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. how I decided Mother to Mother would focus mm -hmm. mostly on mm -hmm. young children. Now this is a fund. I think, how, how, how do you explain it as a fund? It's uh, a foundation. A foundation. Well, right. Now, it's what actually does that a, mean? Uh, a foundation. It's a, it's a non-profit. It's a mm -hmm. 501c3. Mm -hmm. So it is um, run just like any other charitable organization. And, and so you, you use the uh, resources from this foundation in order to help the children at, uh, right. at, at the hospital with these uh, bags, bags, these right. gifts. Uh -huh. right. Now, now, now uh, how widespread is this? I mean, uh, are you the only person that's involved in this kind of activity or what? Well, it, it, it was mine when mm -hmm. I, I started it. Mm -hmm. And we have, I have programs at Children's Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, Hope Clinic for Women, mm -hmm. Mercy Ministries, a mm -hmm. lot of the social service organizations. So I mm -hmm. have had widespread community support and mm -hmm. and so you've been involved in trying to uh, and see this is not an isolated program that you have here at National right. General is that what is that what we yes, say? Is that what is that what I'm hearing right I'm, that you've been I have involved programs in all, uh -huh. all around this area I have the whole state of Tennessee mm -hmm. and I'm gradually spreading out from Nashville and, 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 and so uh, you are in a, a situation that will allow you to uh, touch these uh, children and all of these, and, and many of these hospitals throughout the uh, state of Tennessee, right? And and many of them have a chapter, I would imagine, of the uh, mother. Is that, right. Is that That's the exactly. One? We uh, we run programs out of a lot of the different hospitals, mm -hmm. and at Nashville General, we do the baby bank program really to open the doors for the other needs. Okay. A lot of times, the mothers, you know, the bag may help them get home and have the supplies, but. Good. You know, the nurses will call, will call me and say, you know, she also, she's taking the baby home and has nowhere for the baby to sleep. And mm -hmm. so, cribs and high chairs and car no. seats and... No. See, it, that, 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 and I think that mothers to mothers fund foundation makes uh, much more sense in terms of when you broaden that. Right. And, 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 and so that's, right. that's what we're looking for. And right. of course, uh, I, I think, Ms. McCoy, uh, you mentioned uh, Nashville General Hospital. A lot of our audience might not understand the uh, merger that occurred between these facilities and et cetera. Talk about that so that we can then, during that last segment, talk about uh, what is going on with our children today in these facilities. Um, Nashville General Hospital was formerly called Metro Hospital, Metro General, and now in the community it's still affectionately called Metro General. Well, Nashville General Hospital at Meharry actually um, is the new name of Metro General Hospital. Okay. And approximately 10 years ago, Nashville General and G.W. Hubbard were serving two separate audiences, North Nashville and East, East Nashville, people that uh, were either underinsured mm -hmm. or um, un uninsured and it was under one of the um, I think it was Governor Bredesen that mm -hmm. actually formed the partnership to combine the two Very hospitals mm -hmm. to combine the two hospitals to serve M Davidson County at large mm -hmm. and then formed the Metropolitan Nashville Hospital Authority, which now means one hospital in addition to Bordeaux long-term care mm -hmm. and Knowles assisted living. Mm -hmm. So it's a hospital, it's a hospital authority taking care of the social and mm -hmm. mental and mm -hmm. physical needs of anybody that needs a little assistance or mm -hmm. for private paying mm -hmm. customers like myself. Also, the reason that we have attached the name Meharry to the name is because we are physically on the campus yeah. of mm -hmm. Meharry yeah. mm -hmm. and we reside in the building that was formerly called the G.W. Hubbard mm -hmm. Hospital. Mm -hmm. And Nashville General Hospital is also a training ground for medical students who are residents for Meharry and Vanderbilt yeah. mm -hmm. University Medical Center. So it has grown to be a thriving business and although um, as the 
news would depict, we do have some financial issues, mm -hmm. but with each passing year, we're growing stronger and stronger mm -hmm. as a business. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the growth of your uh, mother to mother uh, foundation, I'm supposed to? Um, as I said, I started it when we moved to Nashville mm -hmm. three years ago, and it was really, you know, I had an idea that I wanted to have mm -hmm. programs at all the hospitals and mm -hmm. touch as many people, as many babies as I could, and mm -hmm. it started off pretty slowly, and once mm -hmm. we started, once I met Judith and started the baby bag program, mm -hmm. it really took off. Now, so. what would you say uh, to people who uh, might wish to uh, support what you're doing uh, uh, and who might wish to uh, support this foundation? I mean, how uh, how is this foundation operated? Uh, well, as I said, it's operated as a 501c3, mm -hmm. it, just a chari it's a charitable Board organization. Of and that kind exactly. Of, uh, uh -huh. It's run just mm -hmm. like the Red Cross or mm -hmm. any other charity. Um, we have, after the publicity from the baby bag program, that's mm -hmm. most of our donations um, come mm -hmm as blankets. We mm -hmm. have a, some elderly women that actually knit bonnets and mm -hmm. blankets and mm -hmm. we have had wonderful donations for mm -hmm. diapers, wipes, the, mm -hmm. all the items in the baby bags. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Haney, um, the first year that uh, Janie mm -hmm. formed her partnership with us, I think that particular year we delivered 1,200 babies, which meant mm -hmm. she provided 1,200 gift bags. Excellent. Well, mm -hmm. this year we're expecting to have at minimum um, 2,000 to 3,000 deliveries at Nashville General mm -hmm. because we have partnered with some um, clinics in Nashville such mm -hmm. as Vine Hill and some of the other mm -hmm. community uh, clinics so uh, it, it's a large that's a, undertaking that's a large to keep undertaking. up with the deliveries. And that's, yeah. a, that, that's a very very expensive proposition after a while because you know right. when you talk about 2,000 because I, I really didn't have any idea of how many children we were talking yeah, about but I right. never would have thought that we were talking about two or three thousand children. We are. And that's you can see how many a day we get right. that, that mm -hmm. you have to uh, mm -hmm. deal They're with. stuffed and, and mm -hmm. ready to go. That, that's, that's a real work uh, and, and I guess it's a real challenge. And of course, we're getting ready, uh, ladies, for our first commercial break, after, t after which we'll come back and we'll talk about some other issues that uh, the two of you to be to believe to be important uh, dealing with our children. Because I think as we uh, tried to indicate uh, in an earlier conversation that we had with uh, uh, Mayor uh, uh, Dean, that uh, a real concern has to be with uh, the children. And I think the two of you are demonstrating that. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.